Hello everyone, how are we? Hope you're all well. Right, hopefully you have your two cones, your two balls, one's a football, the other ball's a different shape or a different size to your football, and then that's what you're gonna need today, plus you and a little outdoor space. <laughs> Just in the shout outs. He's put his own name on there, look. So, what we're gonna be working on today is a bit of fitness, um, movements that's gonna work on our athleticism, because while we're sitting around not doing much in uh, these certain circumstances, it could be quite hard for the body to readjust, so if we do it every now and then, and this these things that we do today, you can do all the time at home. Um, it'll just keep you ticking over, keeping that body moving in the way that we want you to uh, be able to move as a goalkeeper. All right, so, before we start, we've got a couple of shout outs that are rolling across the bottom on in the red. So we'll have a look. So shout out to Jack Ford from Hawley's Football Club, Connor Wall from the, our Monday goalkeeper session, and Chris Hatton in the office at Complete Coaching. He's the one that set all this up for me. So before we've got another couple of minutes, so hopefully you uh are all ready okay we'll start off with a warm-up okay we've got quite a few exercises to do and it's going to progress nicely okay I filmed all these this morning and I had some help with some of the moves because I couldn't do them on my left leg uh, I had help from Dexter from Complete Dance um, some of the moves I will warn you you can tell he's a dancer uh, some of the moves he does um, what I want you to think about is being nice, short, sharp, okay? Um, keeping going for the whole 20 seconds. We were going to do 30, but some of the moves that we were doing could have been a little bit difficult for 30 seconds, so we're going to go for 20 seconds. All right, so I'm going to show you the first setup. So you want your cones set up about six steps apart. All right. So I look. There we go. So it will look something like this. So Hopping on one leg, nice small hops, keeping that balance, and you want to keep your shoulders and your hips facing the same way. And we're going to do that four times, okay? So we're going to wait 30 seconds just to get yourselves ready, and then we will start again, okay? Let's have a look. All right. 15 seconds before we get going. Make sure you've got some water with you as well. Definitely keep hydrated through this one. And we are starting in about five seconds. Get ready, steady, and let's go. Hopping on our right leg to start with. Small jumps, small hops. Okay, small hops. Keeping your balance. Last one. And stop there. So we're going to switch to the other leg. And we're going to do our left leg. Okay, different view for this one so you can see everything that we're doing. Same again. And we are going to go now. So left leg now, all the way up. Little bit slower for me on this one. This is my injured leg. So I'm going a little bit slower. This time I'll go around the cones. And again, we do it for four times. Those small steps, keeping our shoulders and our hips facing the direction that we're going. Well done. And have yourselves a rest.
So have yourselves a rest. So starting with hops, okay, you can do this at home whenever you like, all right? Keeping those small steps, this will test our balance and our control with our body. And it will help our athleticism and just gauge where we are. All right, get yourselves ready for the next one. Okay, this is what it will look like. So have a look. So we're imagining there is a line in between the two red cones, okay, and you're going to hop across the line. All right, so you're hopping from side to side. Okay, right. We are going to do that four times, okay? Once you get to the end, you're going to walk back to the first cone, okay? Right, get yourselves ready, steady, and go. So from side to side, okay? Now we're really testing your balance, okay? Because we're putting you off center. A little walk back after the first one. If you can, can you keep your hands out in front? Number three. Little jumps just across that imaginary line. Last one. And after this, we're going to switch over to our left leg. Well done. Right, we're going to switch to our left leg. Dex has done this for this uh, on this one. Um, have a little look at how we did, how he did it. It might be a little bit different to how I did it. How many skit or hops can you get in between each one? Ready and go. This is our first one. Hop into the side and then back over. Imagine there's that line across to the other side of the cone. Okay. Again, keeping your shoulders in your head and your hips facing the direction that you're going. No twisting. Good, well done. And stop there. Good job. So, so with that one, we're testing our body and our balance and our coordination because we're putting ourselves off balance now, okay, by jumping from one side to the other, making our body weight go to the opposite side, okay? So if you can keep your hands out in front and your shoulders and your head and your hips facing the direction you're going, you're doing a great job, okay? Right, next one, let's see what we have to do. Okay, skips with your arms rotating forward. Skips with your arms rotating forwards. Okay, and we're gonna do that four times, okay? Got a little bit of time to get a drink. Okay, we're gonna start in about five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, arms forwards, rotating forwards. Can you try and brush as close to your ears as possible when you're doing this? A little walk back once you've done it. And then a little skip forwards. Good, well done. Good, keep those arms moving. And then stop there. Well done. Right, on the next one, we will be going backwards with our arms, skipping forwards. Okay, so skipping forwards and going backwards, just like that. Okay. Get yourself ready, and we'll be starting in three, two, one. Skipping forwards, arms going backwards. All right. Can you get your arms to brush past your ears? Nice big circles with the arms. Okay, now we're moving two body parts at the same time, doing different things. So coordinating our body now. Good, can we keep our head up? Forwards. There we go. 
head up and forwards. Good, well done. So we've got last one. I think I may need a haircut the way my hair was bouncing in that one. Right. So, on that one, we are using two parts of our body. We're using our arms to rotate, and we're using our legs and our feet to skip. Okay, so we have to control both parts. So we're using our brains, and we're using our coordination to be able to do both things. Two major things to help us with our athleticism. Okay? Right, let's have a look. This is the... Okay. Then we've done that one. So we're going to go to the next one. Right, this is the next one. Let's have a look at what we've got to do. Little side shuffles. So you're stepping across that line again. Okay, if you watch my foot, okay, there, my foot is always stepping on the line and then I step across with my other foot. Then when I come back across, the foot that stepped across stepped onto the line, then I move across with my other foot. Okay, right, get ready. And shuffle, go. How many shuffles can you get in? Nice and quick, nice light feet. Okay, all on our balls of our feet, moving nice and lightly. Doing four of these. Okay, good, well done. Last one. Good. And stop there. Right, next one. We are going to be doing it moving backwards now. Okay, so have a look at what I mean. So stepping across. Okay, so your body weight is shifting, okay, to the direction that you want to move to next. All right, get ready. We are going backwards. Go. Four of these, keeping nice and low. Shuffling backwards, turn around and come back. And the three. And our last one, keep those feet nice moving, nice and swift. Pulls of the feet, moving backwards. Well done and we will be moving on. Right, these ones. You have to now keep your legs moving but your head and your shoulders facing in the same direction. So have your hands like that and then you're gonna jump, twist and then back. Okay, but you wanna keep your shoulders and your head Still, okay. Oh, right, let's go back to the exercise. I'll show you how it's done. So it looks like this, okay. Little shuffles, just like that. All right, get ready and go. This one, my right leg is forward and my left foot is back. On the next one, your left foot will be forwards and your right foot will be at the back. Keep your head and your shoulders facing the direction. The only thing that should twist and stop there is your hips and your legs. Right, we're moving on. This time with Dexter, you're going to try and do it as quick as you possibly can. Watch how he does it. Look, let's do it nice and quick. You can tell he's a dancer. He's not keeping those hands still. Okay. Get yourselves ready. Steady and go. How quickly can you do it? How many can you get in in the 20 seconds? Keep those shoulders and your head facing forwards. Twenty seconds done. Well done, everyone, and we're moving on. 
Right, let's have a look at the next one. So we are going to imagine that there's a line in between the two red cones. I'm working on my right leg and we're going to hop over from side to side just like so. Okay, get yourselves a drink. Okay, we're going to start in about 10 seconds. Okay, if you can as a challenge, if you can as a challenge, keep your hands still where they are. All right, so get yourselves ready. We're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so a line across and go. Can you keep your head up? Keep those hands in front of you if you can. I'm using mine for balance. Can you get into a rhythm? That body weight being shifted again, testing your balance. Good, and stop there. Right, switch over to the left leg, and it is Dexter's turn. Ready, steady, and go. Good, well done everybody. Keep it going. Nice, short, sharp hops over the line. Keep those hands in front. Good, well done. Moving on to the next one. This time, the next one, you're gonna to have to keep that line in between. Okay, and you're gonna be going front and back. Have a look. So there, there we go. Right leg again, front, back, front, back, front, back, over the top of the line. Okay, get yourselves ready. And go. Well done. Keeping those hands out in front if you can. Good, well done. Keep it going. And stop there. Nearly fell over then. Don't tell anyone. All right, so let's have a look. Dexter's gonna do it on his left leg for this one. Okay, so again, that line across and across, okay? Get yourselves, go. Good, well done, keep going. Good. And stop there. Right. Well done, that is our warm up done. Get yourselves a drink. Okay, you will next need your ball. Okay, just the football to start with. All right, and then you'll have your uh, other size ball nearby, but you won't need to use it in the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the next video and we're going to have a look at what we need to do. Okay, so have a look at what we need to do. If you haven't got your gloves on already, get them on. So all we're going to do, throwing the ball, shuffling around and catching the ball. Keeping your eye on the ball and shuffling around. Okay? So, we've got about five more seconds before we start. Get yourself a drink. Get ready. And in three, two, one. Off we go. Keeping your eye on the ball. Shuffling keeping your shoulders and your hips facing the ball at all times, okay? Staying on the balls of our toes so our heels aren't touching the floor, okay? Good, and stop there. Right, have a little rest. Right, now you need to switch over to your next ball. Okay, something that's a, sim a, a different size or a different shape. I've gone for the rugby ball today. Okay, give yourselves 10 seconds, have a little drink, and then we'll get going. 
All right. Same thing again, throwing the ball in the air, keeping your eye on the ball, and you're moving in a sideways or a lateral movement from side to side, shuffling those feet towards the ball, keeping your eye on the ball and your shoulders and your hips facing the ball. Okay? Right, get yourselves ready. We're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Different ball now. I've gone for the rugby ball. Again, keeping your eye on the ball at all times. I've had to go forwards on that one. Sideways. Sometimes I go backwards. Always constantly moving, constantly challenging yourself. And stop there. Well done. Right, next one. Okay. You are going to have to... Throw the ball up in the air, okay? And you're gonna to have to let it bounce and then catch it, okay? How many catches can you get in the 20 seconds that we give you? All right, let us know. Let's get going. I'll show you what I mean on the video. So it will look like this, lovely still image there. So you throw the ball up, bounce, catch, bounce, catch. Bounce, catch. Okay, I've gone for the tap up. How many times can you keep it moving? Okay, constantly shuffling the shuffling the ball around. Okay, get yourselves ready and go. How many times can you do it? Eye on the ball at all times. Nice soft hands. I'm not tapping it very far. Good. Get ready, and you're nearly there. Keep going, and stop there. Well done. We are moving on. I reckon you can guess what's next. Using the different shape or different size ball now. Okay. I will give you a little sneak peek. You don't have to do anything yet. You're resting at the moment. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I had to do this about four times. Okay, because the ball kept falling awkwardly and running away. Okay. That's part of the challenge. All right. So get yourselves ready. We're going to be starting in five seconds. All right. Always keeping your eye on the ball. Stay on the balls of your feet so your heels aren't touching the floor. So you're staying on your toes. Okay. Ready to react to where the ball goes. All right, I'd love to see your videos from this one. I'd love to see what you've uh, challenged yourself with. Get ready and go. I knew you got away from me there. See, I'm really concentrating on how I'm holding this uh, rugby ball. Trying to get it to bounce nicely for me. Rugby balls have a mind of their own. And stop there. Right, moving on. Have a rest, have a drink. So this is where you're going to need the same time. I've gone for the football in my hands first and my different size ball, so the rugby ball on the floor. Uh, you have to throw the ball up in the air, touch the ball that's on the floor, and then catch the ball that's in the air. All right, it looks like this. You don't have to do anything yet. Yeah, you're resting and getting a drink. So it looks like this, there, touch, so throw the ball in the air, touch, catch. All right, keeping your eye on the ball at all times. All right, with the rugby ball, it tried to get away from me, but I think I managed it okay. Okay, right, get yourselves ready, we're going in three seconds. Two, one, and go. So can we touch the ball on the floor, then catch the one we've thrown. Throw the ball, touch, catch. Okay. Always constantly moving because that ball that I've got keeps moving around. Handed me there. Nearly took that one in the face. <laughs> and stop there. Right. Moving on. 
we're going to switch it over. Rugby ball or your different size ball in your hands and the football on the floor. Okay. It looks like this. Don't have to do anything just yet. Okay. If you really want to challenge yourself, try touching the ball with both hands. Okay. Get yourselves ready. We're starting in five seconds. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So throwing the ball in the air, touching the football on the floor. If you can challenge yourself, touch it with both hands. Okay, oh, I've missed it there. Made up for it on that one. <laughs> Good, constantly moving. You've got to watch where that ball is on the floor as well. This is the challenge. Wherever that ball goes, you've got to shuffle. Don't take it back to the middle. And stop there. Well done. Right, we're nearly at the end. We're going to do a little bit of core work now. Okay, so I'm on the floor there. A little bit of rest for me, what you like to think. This is what I would like you to do. Okay, so your legs out in front and you're just going to twist and touch the ball on either side. Okay, if you want to challenge yourself, can you raise your feet off of the floor? Okay, and then do the same exercise but keeping your feet off of the floor. All right, all right, get yourselves ready. Have a drink, get yourselves into position. We're gonna start in about five seconds. Three, two, one, and we're gonna work our core, go. That's it, touching the sides. If you can lean back, get those feet off of the floor. Twisting, keeping your eye on the ball. And you dropped it there. And stop there. I actually uh, was meant to be going for 30 seconds and ended up doing 20. <laughs> All right. So, next one. This is what I'd like to do. Still on the floor. This time, scissor kicks, and you're going to pass the ball through your legs as you scissor kick. So it looks something like this. There, through. Okay, keeping yourself balanced on your bum. All right, that's how it looks. Get yourself ready. Make sure you've had your little rest. And we're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one and go hopefully you can all make it through without dropping the ball let me know if you do again coordinating our legs and our hands to get the ball through oh there we go if it breaks down fix it as quick as you can and stop there well done and our last one so you need to be in a press up position with your feet outstretched and your hands on the floor with your ball next to you look something like that and you will need to do it like this i'm going to show you the video you don't have to do it just yet so there if you can keep your bum lower than mine that'd be great and roll it round and keep doing that for the 20 seconds five more seconds rest and then we're going to get going and this is our final exercise all right so get yourselves ready get steady and go so rolling round try and keep that body straight as you possibly can Rolling it around your hands and stop there. Right, that is us done. Really well done. Hopefully, you complete it all. Don't forget, you can always go back and do these exercises all over again. Um, I would concentrate yourselves on the movements side of things, so the hopping, the skipping, okay. Um, all of that helps with your athleticism 
okay you can do it at home you can do it wherever you want you don't need anyone around okay um, the football ones by using the football you could get a partner involved so your mum your dad your brother or your sister and when you're throwing one ball in the air they throw you another one and then you catch the ball in the air uh, that's in the air but you've obviously got to pass the ball that you've uh, caught back okay so there's lots of different things that you could do with those be creative with, with, with it uh, enhance it or progress it as you think or see fit we'd love to see your videos of it um, until next week see you later well done everyone thanks for joining us again and i will see you next week <laughs>